I'm Keith Darms. I've been tattooing 18 years. Um, I am a co-owner of Southern Star Tattoo in Atlanta, Georgia. I don't really have a style that I, I prefer. I love doing traditional. I love doing Japanese. I love doing black and gray. I kind of feel like every style of tattooing has a best way to do it, and I kind of try to get as close to that as I can. I specialize in trying not to specialize, I guess. <laughs> Somebody that's got a fair idea of what they want to get, um, but will give me enough free reign to make it fun. Somebody that's you know pretty educated about tattooing. Somebody that may have seen stuff I've done to where they, they kind of have done the research to know some of what my strengths are and play to that, that are willing to pay well and tip well. I'd say Richard Stell, Bob Roberts, Ed Hardy, Tom DeVita, Dan Thomey, Dan Higgs, um, Brian Everett, Cap Sumsky, my teacher, Jack Rudy, uh, I mean, a plethora of people. Those were sort of the people whose stuff I was looking at when I was coming up. Um, and then, I mean, tattooing is definitely a discipline that the more you know about it, the more you understand about it. So, you know, you go back, you go forward, you go current. I mean, anybody that's pushing themselves, to do their best work, you know? Obviously, Sailor Jerry, Bert Grimm, and, you know, the, the classic giants on whose shoulders we stand. Mike Godfrey, Jojo Ackerman, um, Galen Justice, there's a ton of people, DJ Rose, um, there's a ton of people who, who take a really personal approach to tattooing who don't seem to be caught up in whatever the current selling thing is that have a really kind of personal interaction with their art and continue that no matter what. Um, I'm drawn to people like that. I'd like to think that I'm somebody like that, but I, I feel like I, in the company of some of those people, Tomas Garcia, another one who I really am inspired by, um, you know, I, I feel like I pale in comparison to their personal vision that they're sort of transcribing through tattoo. Don't do it. Um, it's so saturated now. I mean, I think there's an exception to every rule, but it's it's become so saturated. It's I tell people when they say that they want to learn how to tattoo, I'd say you're probably better off learning how to paint really good commercial flash that you can hang in a tattoo shop and sell, rather than trying to learn the craft of tattooing because there's so many there there's not that many people that are willing to teach it the right way. Anymore. I mean, any dickhead can figure out a way to get tattoo equipment. And you know, quite honestly, there have been some great people who have come out of nowhere, like sort of that have self-started, you know, punk rock style that have become great. So, I mean, I'd love to draw a hard line in the sand and say, unless you serve a proper apprenticeship, you know, but there's an exception to every rule and it will continue on no matter what us older people start saying all pissed off about, like, to a certain extent, you know, I never thought I would have been tattooing long enough that, like, what I have to say means anything to anyone. I still feel like I'm a junior tattooer, you know? I'm proud to have been around tattooers that have been tattooing 30, 40 years now. I still feel like I just started. I think, you know, everybody wants to complain about the, the oversaturation, but the one good thing about it is that there's a little bit more education now about what can what what makes a tattoo good i think i mean both design and execution i think that there's definitely a, your general customer like has a little bit more of an idea of what to look for as a good tattoo it's important to have an educated public well it's important to have an educated client i don't know that it's important to have an educated public there was a time, you know, when I started tattooing where it's like, oh, if people would just accept this and, you know, think more highly of it, you know, it would it would be great. And it's kind of like now that people have accepted it more and it's inf it, it not infiltrated all levels of society, but it's more acceptable. Um, it's it's changed it. It's not scary or dangerous anymore. So I think it's great to have people educated. I think the downside is it takes some of the balls away from it for every. You know, there's a, an amazing amount of really talented people who are super slick technically, who just, their tattoos don't have any soul to them. I mean, I think you have to honor and understand your past. I think 
taking time to talk to older tattooers that are in your presence, living examples on whose shoulders we stand, taking time out to buy something original from them, get tattooed by them. You know, getting tattooed pretty heavily is always a pretty uh, good thing to do, especially from your heroes, you know? I think that the thing that people kind of forget is that these old timers, they're not gonna be around forever. You know what I mean? And it's like, oh, it's cool when, when Tattoo Age does a little video on somebody, but you could go talk to that fool. You could jump on a plane and get a tattoo from them and spend, you know, two, three hours getting to know somebody in person and have a personal experience. I think it's not just in tattooing, but the world, everybody wants to do everything at a distance, you know, over the computer or the phone or whatever, and nobody, like the interpersonal contact, it's not been lost, but it's not prioritized anymore. It's so, nice. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, having a personal connection with somebody is kind of what tattooing's all about. And while we have these living legends in our presence, like take the time to make a personal connection to them, you know? Buy something from them, get tattooed, hang out, like get them a cup of coffee if that's what they want, you know, pay your dues. Yeah. I try to work hard. I try to, you know, honor what I was taught as a tattooer. I try to, I mean, I think one of the things that I was told from an older tattooer that I looked up to um, was to be cool to younger tattooers, um, to foster people who you can see have a spark. They might not have every little aspect of it down, but you know, those are the, the generation that's after you that's gonna be doing big things and you're gonna be sitting back complaining about how nobody gets anything from you no more. And if you're nice to them while they're on the way up, while you're, you know, in the middle and, and closer to the end of your career, those are the people that are gonna tell people that you are a cool motherfucker, and that's important too.